Have you ever wondered how that bridge acts under compression or tension forces while you're driving above? Or how your roof takes the loading, giving you a space to enjoy? Don't worry. I'll let you delve deep today to see some basics of stresses in a building or a bridge, including compression and tension forces. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to IamCivilEngineer.com, your very own Newt Ube channel. So, what is tension? The word tension means to stretch. It's a force that tries to stretch the material. So, what happens to rope during a game of tug of war? It undergoes tension from the two sweaty opposing teams pulling on it. This force also acts on bridge structures, resulting in tensional stress. So, examples of tension in daily life include Suspension bridge cables. They could not stretch in compression or they'd collapse. Elastic bands and guitar strings. Wire fences. Springs. Elevator. Climbing ropes. Now let's see the opposite of tension, that is, the compression. Compression is the force that shortens an object together. In fact, it attempts to compress the object. What happens when you push down on a spring and collapse it? You compress it, and by squishing it, you shorten its length. Compressional stress, therefore, is the opposite of tensional stress. The example of compression in daily life include columns, studs of a wall, truss elements, Let's now see how tension and compression acts in real life. When two people sit on a seesaw, what do you think? Is the metal bar between the two seats experiencing compressive or tensile stress? Well, it's a tricky question. In reality, that bar and bending experiences both compressive and tensile stresses. To visualize this, grab a paperback book and bend it down. When you do this, the book materials want to return to their normal state of rest, so it feels like the top pages try to pull your fingers together because they are in tension, and the bottom pages push your fingers apart because they are in compression. The bending book experience is compressive and tensile stress, just like a seesaw bar that is being bent. With the bending book, the greatest tensile and compressive stresses occur on the outer covers. The direction of these forces can be seen. The neutral axis or layer runs along the middle of the book. We can say it is the middle page in the book. Amazingly, this axis experiences zero stresses while bending. If we see the distribution of the forces, it's like a linear shape with two triangles, one at the top and other at the bottom of neutral axis. The magnitude of compression or tension is directly related with the distance from the neutral axis. This distribution has a practical application. For example, if you ever need to drill a hole in a support beam, like the ones along the ceiling in your basement, drill in the center of the beam where there are no stresses. So, that's all about our today's video of compression and tension. I hope you've liked it. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe and like button. I'll see you in the next amazing video. Thanks.